Manchester United are interested in Sergei Milinkovic Savic. This has now been confirmed by Jason Burt from The Telegraph, a very credible source indeed that Moose Rabio and Milinkovic Savic follow the growing realization that Frankie de Jong does not want to join Manchester United. This has been something, there's been, I think, a bit of a fear for Man United fans that as other clubs get involved, the likes of Chelsea, that the head of Frankie Dion would be turned due to their manager, squad status, Champions League football. Man United seemingly looking interested. Jason Burt actually out last night kind of defending himself, saying, I know everybody expected links to Milinkovic Savage, but I'm trusting the source that I am getting this from. Now, I want your thoughts and I want your feelings on this. Is this just kind of media PR, an expected link for Manchester United because of the defeat to Brighton, because of the turmoil? Or do you think there is now genuinely a chance that Manchester United are going to sign this top class player? Today's show is sponsored by Private Internet Access. And this is something I use on my personal computers, work computers and on my devices. Whenever you're using an open network for internet, whether at a cafe, whether you're at the airport, shopping center, wherever that may be, you need to encrypt yourself and ensure that your personal data is being protected at all times. Private internet access is available all around the world. And as I've mentioned, you can use it on your smartphone, your smart TV, laptops, iMacs, whatever it is that you use. This also gives you the availability to access content worldwide. So when you're traveling, it doesn't matter. If you want to use your Netflix, the iPlayer, YouTube, wherever you are in the world, the VPN via private internet access gives you the ability to do so. Now, what the Football Terrace can do for you is give you an 82% discount on this product plus three months three. All you need to do is click on the link in the description or scan the QR code on your screen during this video to sign up now. Here is a tweet from uh, Jason Burt where he says, and yes, I was very surprised when I heard the name at Milinkovic Savage today, but this is well sourced. This is very much a journalist putting his credibility to a certain degree on the line when talking about this deal. Now, look, there are reservations. I have reservations about Milinkovic Savic. We're told, we read that he's a top class player. No one's ever really been that interested in him outside of uh, you know, Lazio. What is he, 27 years of age now? Um, he's kind of been around the block a little bit. And as I say, no one's come in for him. Nobody's made that big attempt to take him away as of now. But Man United do seem to be getting to a point where, I hate to use the word, but there may be a little bit of desperation creeping in. I was very, very annoyed yesterday. And I, I remain annoyed at some of the targets that we're looking at. Manchester United, in my opinion, should not be looking at Rabiot's. They should not be looking at um, the, the, the likes of Arnautovic to be improving this squad. Man United should be in a much better situation. Manchester United should be in a much better... Um, they should be in a much better position than doing that. But this is the realisation of where we are as a football club. We have been run by charlatans. We have been gutted by bankers. We have been extorted by the Glazers. And still Manchester United fans pump their money in as the standards, as the overall ability, quality, mentality, attitude, behaviour and culture of the football club and the, and the dressing room has diminished over the past 10 years. One of the reasons why I don't pump any more money into the club is purely out of protest as opposed to wanting to. I want to wear the new kit. I want to, wear, I want to get all the kits. I want my kids in all the kits. I want to be at games. I want to be supporting the club in every which way I can and repping them. But you shouldn't do that if they're not behaving in the right way. You, know, you shouldn't reward poor behavior, as it were. Is it rectifiable, though, if deals like Milinkovic Savage gets done? Now, that, that's the big question. You know, that's the real question when it comes down to this transfer uh, window, um, as we say. And we spoke about this earlier. And part of the article that's been put out by Jason Burt states that Lazio do not want to sell him and are aware United um, have renewed interest. He would cost around 60 million euros with talks at a very early stage as United consider whether to go for it. Now, it does appear when reading this, and we're going purely on this source as opposed to opinion, it does appear that according to these sources, United are now starting to look away from Frankie de Jong. 
And the Frankie de Jong situation has taken a, a different kind of turn. So first and foremost, um, Barcelona are not in the same financial situation they were in at the beginning of the transfer window. They have got an opportunity of a fourth leather. And there are other players in the squad that are now willing to take pay cuts, all being all encompassing, meaning they may not have the necessity to reduce the player's salary. Plus, they're actually looking to take him to court so that he goes, he gets reverted back onto his original contracts and they get out of having to pay it. Then it just comes down to that point around then he can just stay and he could earn his 350 grand a week base salary and continue to play. I still think if they take if they have to take him to court, you're in a situation where it, would, it won't be it won't be a, a pay decrease um, per se. It would be remaining on that and he won't be getting any of his deferred wages back. I still think if that happens and they're taking through court, there's a big chance that Frankie de Jong leaves because you, I just don't see how that's a recoverable situation if he isn't open and willing to do these things. But PSG are now back interested again. Links from Gerard Romero. And of course, Chelsea Football Club, very, very interested indeed. And most credible sources state that the player is likely to pick London. The player is likely to pick Chelsea over Manchester United. And you know, I'm trying to remain as consistent as I can, even though when it comes to Man United, I am emotional. When you're emotional, you don't always act with the same integrity that you would like to. I want Man United to stick to the number one targets of the manager. Frankie Buying Frankie de Jong, waiting for Frankie de Jong would be that. And if he was staying at Barcelona because a deal couldn't be done, but there was a an ill feeling at Barca and there was maybe an opportunity in January to revisit this deal, maybe an opportunity next summer. There's this part of me that would say, okay, well, wait, wait still for the number one target because Man United's rebuild was never going to happen inside one summer. But if the player is going to join another football club, if he's going to sign a new deal at Barca, if he's going to commit himself somewhere else and there's zero chance of buying him, you have to move on to other players. Now, on Milinkovic, Savic and Rabiot, are they the kind of player that Man United fans want to see purchased? No, um, they're not. Everybody's very desperate for a DM. And we were loosely linked last night to other DMs. But I, I, don't, know what the, I don't know what the word for this is. Um, I know there's a growing frustration. I know there's a growing annoyance. And I, I certainly hold that same feeling and emotion. There's, there's absolutely no doubt about it whatsoever. But this is still rectifiable for these owners. And maybe they see the anger of the fans. Maybe they see the annoyance of the fans. But it's rectifiable by buying quality. And out of it, some Rabio. It's an interesting take on them. As I said last night on the top six, if they were being added to... If, we were, if we'd already got De Jong, or we already bought Milinkovic Savic, we already bought Ruben Neves, you know, we had Cisco sitting in, in the squad. We, we had Martinez, we had Ericsson, we had Malassia. And then we said, we need a little bit more squad depth. And, you know, we're going to bring in Arnautovic to be a, a, a third choice striker. And we're going to bring in um, a player like Rabio to um, be kind of a backup to the new midfield that we've purchased. I don't think you'd see the same anger. There's still big question marks over the personality and behaviors of these individuals. You know, the, the mother of Rabio. Um, has caused a lot of problems in the past, and out of it can be a, 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 a troublemaker in dressing rooms. So there's still question mark, massive question marks over that. But it's the timing of these players that we're linked with. Who are the number one targets, and where is the Frankie De Jong money? That's the big question. If you were willing to pay it, Richard Arnold has told us they're willing to pay it. Go and spend it. Go and get behind the manager and back him. I don't believe that Arnautovic and Rabio are, are, are the secondary choices um, to the players that we've been chasing. I, I just don't believe, at this point in my life, I don't believe that Eric Ten Hag's uh, talent ID is that weak. Um, and I'm hoping there's more deals. Maybe this news from Jason Burt is that. Maybe I'm, you know, I'm not allowing myself to get carried away with this. I'm purely putting this out there for you. That's the report. I want your thoughts and I want your feelings on it. But of course, something's got to give. Something's got to change at Manchester United because. Arnautovic and Rabiot being our final two signings of the summer is disastrous.